Okay, so today I'm gonna explain why this app called Grid Maker or any of the grid making apps for Instagram exist. Which is, as a photographer, you have this uh, dilemma where you want to show your work on Instagram, but um, you're stuck with the square format that Instagram has. And well, nobody really does shoot in square. Well, most people don't shoot in square. It's a very small <laughs> amount of people that shoot a square format. Um, so that means you have the dilemma of either adding a border at the top of the bottom of the image to squeeze it down this way so that it can fit across the, the width wise. But then your image is smaller and, and Instagram is already showing people your work on a very small phone and it just doesn't do photography justice to see it on a small scale like that. It just doesn't, doesn't really work. Um, it works just enough, I guess. I think um, a good uh, comparison would be like, imagine going to an art museum and everything, seeing everything uh, presented in the art museum as a little square that's like three inches by three inches. And that's that, that would be a large phone. So imagine that. Like, it wouldn't do it justice for that art, and it doesn't do it justice for your art. So how do we get this bigger? Well, I'll show you. Well, I, you can see I started off with all this small stuff, and I was like, wait a minute, this isn't doing my work justice, I need to get it bigger. So I use Grid Maker, the applications that turn your art into a grid, and it allows you to do this, which uses the full size of the screen, doesn't make me shoot in just a square, you can see it's taller now, it's got the full image, I'm not cropping anything or adding a border. So, now the full glory of the photo can fit within uh, their phone screen, which is still small, but at least this is making the most of it. And I still squeeze in, like, single little shots in between. But you do have to remember that you have to post even amounts of photos, or it has to be divisible by three, because if I had two photos here, this would be off center. This wouldn't upload right because one of them would have started down here and it wouldn't align. So in between you do have to start doing three shots at a time at least. Everything has to be divisible by three. Here this one is a big grid. Look at that. So that makes a fun effect like that you can't even see the whole thing on the screen without having to pan through it. So that's got a very nice big effect to it. Probably won't be doing that a lot. I like it to be all in one shot like this. Like This allows you to see pretty much everything without having to scroll. And that's ideal. And each individual appears like this. Uh, so let's go through how to actually do this. That gives us the reason why we do this. Now let's go to how we do this. So first you need your image. So I'm going to collect mine off of Google Photos. Um, you're missing out. Um, well, hopefully this works without the update. I didn't realize I needed one. Uh, so I'm going to grab a photo to put up. So this, I'll, I'll use this guy, so I'll save this. So we grab our photo that we've selected. Usually you'll just you know, if you're Instagram, you probably have it on your phone already, so you just get that from there. And then we go to the app for Grid Maker. Um, we have it right here. We'll hit Open Gallery. Uh, apparently, there's an advertisement for Hershey's. I don't even remember it giving me advertisements like that. But anyway, it's a free application, so it's not hard to imagine. Oh, so here's our first challenge is that it, oh, it doesn't fit the grid here without again having to do a crop of 3 by 2 This is like the closest you can get without turning it. And you're still cutting off some edge. With this photo, actually, I wouldn't mind doing that, but I want to show you how to do it without having to lose as much and making the most of your screen size, which was rotating the image to fit Instagram. So let's go grab that image 
and do the most simple edit we can, which is rotating it. And I'm doing all mine so they're, that you turn your phone the same direction to view them. So we're simply just going to go in a basic editor and um, do, 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 do. I guess we'll need to go to that. Usually you can do that right here, but uh, okay, so we'll transform, simply rotate it once, done, save it. Now this, as you can see, fills most of my phone screen, and that's what we want on Instagram. So we're going to go to Grid Maker, be like, sorry about that, I don't want it in that image there we go we'll grab the one now you'll see we can grab a uh, much larger frame here a three by four and it fits perfect just for the aspect ratio that I shoot is three four anyway and this prevents me from having to do any kind of crop or border to fit it into Instagram and still get the entire image as large as it as it can possibly fit. Um, so yeah, you stretch it to fit, you pick your grid size. There are other ones. Um, three is as wide as you can go. Um, so that's generally what I use. If I have a panorama, then I can use one of these and it'll fit. But this is a standard 3-4 shot for me. So I'm going to select that, make sure it fits, hit done. And then you end up with this screen, which is a little overwhelming and strange looking at first. So first, uh, you start with number one. So at least they're numbered. So we'll hit one. And then, um, not direct, uh, feed. Crop your photo. No, don't crop. Uh, don't filter because... I mean, your photo, your photo should be already processed. Don't do any of this. Just hit next, next. Then do your caption. So when doing this app, I recommend writing this up ahead of time. Um, but since I didn't do that right now, I'll just come back and add this later to each one individually. So what I'll do is I'll write one and then I'll copy and paste it in every time I do this. But I'm going to skip doing that for now just for this photo. I'm not going to post as this because it's a grid. It won't make sense. We'll hit share. And uh, there we go, finishing up. And what you end up is with this. And people are like, hey, what's that? So the first thing I write in the uh, information right here is visit page for full photo. Visit my page for full photo. Then they know, okay, I'll click his page, and there, they'll have the full thing. And now you can see why you have to upload uh, photos by threes, because if you just upload one random one, it throws everything off. So let's go finish up. That was number one. Number two. Feed. This gets really fast once you know uh, how to do it. <laughs> Three, feed, next, next, share, back to grid maker. You just bounce back and forth and do the same pattern. It would be kind of cool if they automated this, but there's little changes in between that you may eventually want to use, so it's good they at least give you those options. That's creepy. I mean, it is a pretty creepy photo. <laughs> uh, but, uh, it's cool and I want it to be shown in its full size and glory. Oops. I don't want eight, I want seven. Oh good, it didn't pull up anyway. So you just work your way through the whole grid. We're almost done. I know this is pretty tedious. Um, but honestly, this only takes a few minutes to do. It's not bad at all. 
works well for me. Now this app probably does lower the resolution of your photo uh, while it's doing it. Well, I mean, it definitely does. Anytime you do a crop, which essentially that's what this is doing, is an organized crop, um, you're obviously cutting out information and ending up with a lower resolution photo. But I don't know if it's doing any further processing that might lower it, but it's on a phone screen. So it's so small, it there's no noticeable difference if it is doing anything. Um, and it looks great to me once we have it all together, which... Uh, oh wait, did I already do this one? I'm, I was so distracted by talking and doing this at the same time that I might have did that twice. No, look at that! Now we have the full image, nice and big, on Instagram. And people all only have to turn their phones a bit. You know, I try not to make them have to do that a lot. I like this nice wide format. You can see I put them all on the same side so they don't have to turn their phone this way. So if you do do this, make sure you do all your rotations to the same side. That way people aren't standing there looking like an idiot, turning their phone in circles over and over again. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, and then, yeah, well, as I said, put in the info visit page for a full photo, because otherwise it looks like this, and it's like, well, what the hell is that? It's just a black square. Because it's just such a heavy, darked out image, so. Yeah, it doesn't, it still does end up looking really cool like this. And an extra added bonus I like is if you go back to your camera photos, it actually saves all those uh, cropped images like this. Um, uh, they're stacked oddly in this, but sometimes they're stacked um, in really cool ways when you come back in here. Um, so I like to do a screenshot of this and uh, save that. Hold on, let me do that. It's Yeah, it's too hard to do right now, the way I have my phone set up. Anyway, um, I'll usually screenshot this, crop it, and save it. Oh, I can do that. Can I? No, whatever. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's making the most of viewing your photos full scale on Instagram. Uh, using an application to make it a grid, such as Grid Maker. Um, I don't know. I'm sure they have it for both Apple and uh, Android whatever device you use you can find applications that'll do this uh, I guess that's about all there is to say so have a good day